so it's on day two. Uh, I'm not sure what to say to be honest. We're heading for Great Calva, which is another big, very big bell, but it's just up around that corner that way. Bit of a climb, man. He's a bit there uh, under the weather. We had too much craft here last night, and uh, I guess it's day two. So we'll see what tonight brings weather-wise. Yesterday was a bonus weather-wise because it was meant to day after the weather, and it was really good, really decent weather. Uh, slept well, we bivy. So I'm going to try that again. Yeah, it's uh, a beautiful little walk up here from the, the part of the Blencathra Centre and we're following up a path up on the, the hillside it's not a, not a steep path, it just skirts along the edge of the, the fell side but uh, it's a lovely, lovely walk you see there's lovely waterfalls and pools back there and that's your, your view down towards uh, I forgot the name of it now <laughs> come back to this probably later on but uh, it is really a nice walk well, it's just a, hopefully just a gentle one the day. It's more, more or less gentle we'll get the bottom of Great Calva. And then it's a, we'll probably follow the Bob Graham route up. Which, if I remember rightly, is just a bit of a uh, heather bashing. Exercise in heather bashing. There's loads of little old farmsteads and all up here. And probably the ancient drovers road, I would imagine. They were looking across towards Skiddo and that. That's a mighty fine crag, isn't it? Flag. Oh, got um, a famous Skiddo house up there, the youth hostel. Or it used to be a youth hostel, I'm not sure if it still is or it's independent now. A little wooden bridge here, and that's our objective up there. Great Calva, but as you can see, it's got a top hat of mist on, which I'm not very, you know, pretty well. It's, it's just the way it is, isn't it? It is what it is, so hopefully that'll clear later on, we'll get good views. But I'm not getting more objectives done, like so. You can't even complain. Little, I'm not sure if this is the Caldew, I think it is. No, it's not the Caldew. I didn't. The little little Beck he says, and he says, Seal Hau Beck. The college will be down that valley across there. There we go, Skiddo House. 470 metres, 1550 feet up in the fells. And that's it up there. It's a White Years Youth Hostel Association. Uh, obviously, you can get to it by four wheel drive, and that'll be the warden. But our route is into the distance there, and I'm going to follow that spur up. All the way to the top of there, and the mist seems to be clearing a bit, so that's a good sign. Still got a bit to go yet, like. Skiddo house there, back in the distance there, in the middle distance. And that big crag behind it's got a name, but as I see, I was now I'm like with names. Anyway, we're coming up this way, this little trod, which is the Bob Graham Round route, so it's the most direct route to the summit. It's probably not the main path, but it's the it's the quickest way up the Bob Graham round. And then we're looking back, and he's just checking the route there. Make sure we're on course. Wait, what are we? 150 meters to go. And he says 150 meters in height, height. to go. That's not so bad. Oh, I can need breath back. In the clag now, and there's the main path up, and this is here. This is the Bob Gray route up, which is the direct straight up route, which is always the case of the Bob Gray route round to the quickest way possible. But having a short distance to go now, we'll see if there's any pitch opportunities on the top. And as you can see, it's just been clog. Now, it's going to clear. Well, this is the top, as you can see, no views. The beer shelter is <laughs> facing into the wind, so that's it's a no no. Uh, we're going to start to find the pitch to be honest, there's a couple of good squeeze on over there like it was like close to the wind, let's see how it goes. So that's, uh, that's us up the top now and I'm all set up, just about to make me tea, Andy's on the juice, 
I've already had a can of Elvis, Brew Dog Elvis, just because, just because it burst my pan, and uh, I didn't normally crack a tinny open at five o'clock, but uh, <laughs> I drank it anyway. It was it was burst. It was punch. I had to drink it. So it's just some Bob Graham has went that way. Um, said they said they had one more to go, so you must be doing it. Um, let's have a work with this one anti-clockwise, as opposed to clockwise. And I think if I was going to do it, I think I would do it that way as well. Like, no, I couldn't do it. Like, I've not, <laughs> it's past my capabilities that now, like, definitely. In fact, have I ever had the capabilities to do it? I don't think so. Uh, but uh, hats off to anybody who has done it. I mean, it's, it's some achievement. Like, so I'm going to get my tea on now, and um, I've got the night. I'm going to dehydrate it again, which is not very clever, but we'll see how it goes, see what it's like. Last night's wasn't too good, was it, Andy? Hmm. Yeah, we'll see what that's like. This one's um, sweet and sour chicken, we're right. It's not uh, not too bad. Doesn't sound too bad, but we'll, we'll see. So, what you got for your tea then, Andy? Chicken. Is that uh, scouse chicken? From Liverpool? Choppins. Choppins? Yeah, the spices and all Oh, I hear spices, aye. Is that the chilies? I think like this one. I think you're better, aye. Aye, on. All right, so anyway, we're here. Uh, we're just getting my tea on there now. It's getting on a bit. It's, oh, it's 20 to 7. My tea's just um, rehydrating. And he's making some gourmet thing here, like, and I'm pretty, pretty envious. Hydrogen curry. I mean, I'm, I'm quite a keen camping cook, but because we're doing two nights, I couldn't really keep fresh what I wanted fresh for the second night, if you know what I mean, so Good I'm left with dehydrated. But it's not the end of the world. You should use the tool bag. Uh, I wasn't sure about that method. Really works. <sighs> and he's uh, just outside there, he's throwing slugs away from his tent. Just the tent's gone on his black label, the slugs gone on his black label. And steering it with our slug trails. It's not just my uh, tent. And there's lots of uh, lots of runners come past one the Bob obviously one the Bob Graham route. And there's loads of runners went past. They must have started at six o'clock. Must be on like a so I think there's gonna be people starting at six, people starting at seven, people starting at eight. And I think we're gonna have a well, I mean I still sleep alright, but we're gonna have quite a busy night up here. I think the main main look normally lots normally start off like eleven o'clock ish, twelve o'clock midnight. Um so hopefully we'll we'll sleep through it like <laughs> never knew there were so many fit people. This is what um steers you up down now. It's a cheese and wine party of the night. We have seriously tasty squares. We have Santa Gur. Thanks to Mrs. Nutt for putting us onto that. Um we also have crackers. Cheese and onion bops, 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 and we've got some um, cheese and onion cheese from Aldi. How are you enjoying the cheese fest? <laughs> it's not bothering me. Are you worried about the nightmares? <laughs> <laughs> are you worried about the nightmares later? Yeah. Yeah. Don't have nightmares, folks. Don't eat too much cheese because you get mad. We. It's neat one now. It's neat one. I'm fat. Cheese and on. Cheese. Hey, we must have burnt off all those calories. Oh no. It's been a, that's been a four point four and a half mile walk in, so quite a um, really uphill, like to be honest. Quite a trip. Gentle uphill. It was a little, nice walk, a like, real nice walk. So, and he's just killing critters. It's cheese. It's cheese. Caught, There's cheese everywhere. Caught in me. Yeah. Uh... Oh, the weather's changed. How's the bacon? Did you see? Oh, well, that's us uh, awake, or awake at four, like we're awake at about four o'clock for toilet breaks and nothing. Both at the same time. Both at the same time, aye. Wrong, wasn't it? Uh, I got up and there he was, toilet breaking, you know. <laughs> I didn't hear him get his tent. Didn't you hear the zip gun? Aye, yeah, right, but you can see at the distance there, you can see you can see across the binsey where we were on Friday. Just in the middle distance there, that, that bit, like Moorland. That's Binsy, aye, I think. Sure it is. Oh, but it's a lovely morning, as you can see. 
compared to last night in the clag. We're in the clag at about four o'clock this morning, but it's unclagged itself. So that's good. So it's time to get the kettle on, have a have a cup of tea folks and then pack up and have a nice fauna, nearly, nearly a five mile walk back to the car. That's the tea on folks and the porridge. Uh, and that's the pile of cans there, what we need to tidy up. But apart from that, it's a fine morning. Looking forward to this little walkout. Get some more exercise on my legs. It's all about the exercise. Here we are, the summit. Sunday morning, and that's where we're pitched, just where Andy's still. There's room there for two tents, possibly three at a push. Lovely views. Aye, aye. Thing is, this is this here's the Bob Graham route. There's people up and down now lately. Aye, but anyway, that's it for another one. And that one there, just in the distance there, that's where we were on Friday night, Vivian. Excellent. That's we're down now. Down at the Cumbria way. This is the Cumbria way here. So we're going to follow this yellow brick road that way, past Skiddo House. Down to the valley and then along up the flank of that, that hill there, up the side of there, Lacking and we're back to the car. It's miles away, it's uh, oh, you know what I forgot to do? Set that away. Oh, no, what's he like? What's he like? I'll set it away now. I've got my Strava running like. Oh, well. I need you to do us a favour. What? Put this back in. Oh, all right, aye. Do you want a drink? Aye, go on. Hold on, no, I didn't. No, I've got a bottle here, I'll just save for later. There we go. Do you pass your bottle out? No. Still filming, are we? Uh, it's still, still going. Follow the yellow brick road. I'll split that bit out of it. Oh. The scarecrow. Aye, watch it for the scarecrow. And the bloke with the ruby slippers. We're walking like Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doombridge. This it's all rotten. It's falling to bits at that end. That big bowl that's rolling it up. I like the sound of the water, it's nice. Sketchy. sketchy, aye. Whoo! What? There's Great Calvary, that's where we've come from, the point you want up there. us at Skiddo House. If you want to pause the video here, you can read all about it. If you look past that lone tree there, to the distance there, the bottom, of, bottom sort of slopes of Great Calva, there's five she sheep folds apparently, uh, and they're round ones, and they're very peculiar to the Lake District because all the ones in the Lake District are nearly all square, but these ones are round, very much like the ones in Northumberland, but they're called stells, and I'm just wondering whether the man that built them over 150 years ago, I think now. The man, I'm just wondering if he was Northumbrian. Uh, and he'd, he'd ended up in the Lake District by whatever. However, you know. I mean, it says that they're very well engineered, but obviously, when I've gone past them today, but I might try and check them out in future. And there's Carrick Fell just popping over the top there. We've done Carrick Fell, so. Done quite a few of the Northern Fells now. We've done about eight. And I thought it was a lot more than that, but it's not. It's about eight. Uh, but we'll, we're gonna, we're gonna get there, like, and we'll, and after that, I think we'll just put the, doing the weird rights to bed, and maybe just subconsciously do them, you know, just, just if, when and how, we're not making a mission, this has been a bit of a mission, this one, to get the book out the way of the Northern Fells, that's a, that's a nice view there, one of the fells is up there, actually, one of the ones we've got to do, one of our reservoirs down there, and I'm just wondering whether they supplied the, uh, Blencathra Centre, which is down there, and I think that was a sanatorium years ago, where people were, was it cholera or something, or 
um, tuberculosis. I think they went there to recuperate in the fresh air. I think, I could be wrong, but I'm sure that's what it used to be. Anyway, there's a tree growing in that one. So quite, I think it's just growing inside it. Looks like it is. A little bit of old reservoir history there. Oh, oh I don't know, it's like crags, them crags up there, like. Craggy crags. Crags, crags is. So I've just been zooming down the Cumbria way. Looking back at the fella, I never remember its name. Sorry, sorry this is not the Cumbria way. So it's not the Cumbria way. It's that high path up there. This is not the Cumbria way. Take no notice of me, I'm useless. That's quite the view, isn't it? Down to Keswick, Dirt Water, you know, Cat Bells, Nala, Robinson, Hindscorth, Maidenmoor, Dalehead. You can see Great End. You can see all sorts. It's a lovely view. Grysdale and Pike and Cozy Pike. Aye, the air's clear as Andy says. Very clear. Beautiful day. St John's in the Vale down there. And then the Helvellyn Range on the left. Should we go and do the Helvellyn Range just for a laugh? No. Aye. Mm -hmm. mm. Right. That's just back this waterfall again, which we passed on the way up yesterday. Been a brilliant night, really good night. Apart from maybe next time we we camp on the Bob Graham route, we're not going to camp like a foot away from the path. And maybe he's moving maybe he's a few hundred yards away because there was lots of people going past last night. And no doubt in that when they write their blogs and the, the, the things like that, a lot of them you see and there was two lads on the top. And all we could hear was the snoring from the tents and the, the big pile of beer cans. Not beer cans, beer cans. That was the beer pan, <laughs> uh, So that's it for another one. Been brilliant. A great two days. I see it. Two more northern fells cracked off. Uh, and we'll be back out again next week. So that's, thanks for watching. And if you want to like and subscribe or dislike, it's up to you. Share. You didn't have to share it. Like, I'm not really a sharer. Yeah. Oh, he's a thumbs down. Look. No, I no, give no, it a thumbs down. If you want to give it a thumbs down, give it a thumbs down. That's your entitlement. But if you give it a thumbs down, it's best to give it two thumbs downs. Thumbs down it twice. There's the last view. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week. <laughs>